Howdy folks, how are you guys doing? This is Reese, or Brushette Cub. We are back in our Feed the Beast Let's Play world. We're over here with uh, Jeffrey and Stacy, and they are just having a ball in their cage, where I will keep the confined until I get hungry for lamb chops. Uh, <laughs> anyway, we're back in the Feed the Beast world, and I wanted to show you guys this cool little contraption that I built up, which I thought was going to be really cool and revolutionary, but turned out to be a bit of a bust. Uh, so basically the idea is this. We have a whole bunch of cobblestone, which some of you guys said just toss into the void, we'll never need it. And I was like, no, hold on. Maybe we can do something really cool with this stuff and the uh, the minium stones. So what I did was I built a machine that takes the cobblestone out, puts it in an automatic crafting table, and turns it into flint. It then gets pulled out and the flint gets turned into clay. That clay gets turned into that clay block, gets turned into iron, gets turned to gold, and then of course we can take four gold, which will be deposited here, and make a diamond. And I was like, this would be a pretty easy way to you know, automatically turn our all of our cobblestone into diamonds. So, basically, it was... it, it failed. Uh, first off, I needed four minium stones for this to work, which took me three hours to get enough minium stones, or get enough minium shards. And I actually filmed the footage. You can watch it here. I'm playing it right now. Because I was like, no one's going to believe I ran around for that long collecting miniums. No one is going to believe that. Well, here it is. The proof is in the pudding. But anyway, enough of that. I, I got it all done. Got it all set up. Come to find out, when you get this thing running, and I'll demonstrate here. Let me get the redstone torches out. Right, this part works fine. Pulls out the... The, the cobblestone, it goes into here. The problem is, when you're trying to pull from here to here... It cannot work, because it cannot consume the minium stone, nor does it understand to just use one use off of the minium stone. So all you end up doing is having a whole bunch of cobble. Now there is a fix for this. What we do is we take a minium stone, and we place it in a chest adjacent to the machine, and it will... I don't know why, but that makes it start working. So the machine does sort of technically work. However, it requires that instead of having four minium stones, we have eight minium stones. Eight. So, that's another three hours of work. So that's six hours of work to create an automatic, automatic diamond creating machine when I could just sit upstairs and in 20 minutes, not even that long, do it all manually. So it was a really cool idea. I hope you guys think it was a really cool idea. But, you know, it's just, it's really not worth it. We can, we can pretty much do it ourselves. In fact, I'll go ahead and show you guys how a person goes about doing it themselves. Let me take all this cobblestone upstairs and, oh, real fast, let's go check on the quarry. It looks like it's already done. Uh, I know Public Safety Dan, thank you Public Safety Dan, you are always looking out for me. Always, always uh, catching me whenever I make a slip up. He pointed out that you can, in fact, uh, this thing does have a chunk loader inside of it. But for whatever reason, that's never worked for me. I know because, you know, ever since I set it up on that first quarry over there, the second I log off, bam, just stops working. So, I mean, thanks for pointing that out, but I, it just, it, it hates me, I guess. <laughs> but this thing has definitely done its job. As you can see, I got off of here. This has been overnight, and it finished digging. And do we have any more cobblestone? Let's go ahead and take that with us as well. Almost have a full inventory. There we go. Anything interesting? No diamonds, unfortunately. Uh, oh, well. There's, there's, we don't really, do we need diamonds for Thomcraft? What's involved in Thomcraft? I don't even know. I'm excited to do the research, though. That seems to be what you guys have voted for. Uh, it's gotten the most responses, so we'll definitely hop over there and start looking into that and dedicate a wing of this house to Thomcraft. But anyway, let me show you guys the basic gist of what we're going on. And as you can see, the minium stone appears already taken a lot of damage, and that's because I've been trying out this idea. Like, I didn't just go downstairs and build it. I made sure it actually worked first, to an extent. But here's the idea, you make a whole bunch of flint. Oh, look at all the damage that minium stone is taking. It's a good thing we have four more downstairs. Make a bunch of clay. All that clay into clay blocks, which can then be turned into iron. That's just enough to create a gold. And if we have four gold, which I don't think we do, we have two gold. We have lots of gold ore, though. I should probably get to cracking on that. Get that macerating. And hey, real fast, look at that iron ingots. So we'll throw those up here and we'll just create more gold. Wrong recipe. 
we can create a diamond. And so the automatic system would have been really cool. Would have been neat, would have saved me a lot of hassles. But at the end of the day, I guess it just wasn't meant to be. And that's fine. We can we can do it all manually, of course. That that works. And plus, look at all this iron we have. We have so much iron. We can, uh, we can, we can, no, don't put that in the furnace. What am I doing? No, put that in the furnace. Put this down here after the gold is done. Ugh. What a mess. So we can do it all manually. So if we need diamonds, we now have plenty of minium stones with which to do that. I guess I need to come up with something else to do with all this automatic crafting tables. And if you're wondering, auto crafting tables are actually really easy to make. Voila. Just wooden gears and crafting tables. They don't need any kind of power. The only thing you need to make them work is a regular redstone engine and a wooden transport pipe. And make sure that they're connected the right directions. But it was a cool idea. I just wish it had worked out, but I guess I guess we learned from experience and now you guys won't be making the same mistake. And of course the minium stones are temporary. The creator of this mod has already said that he or she, I'm not really sure, we'll go with he. And in literature actually, if it says, never mind, we won't go into that, but uh, <laughs> uh, they have stated that they're going to be replacing the minium stones anyway here in the future, so... Let's see, how many of these do I have? Just one, two, three, four. I should have one more someplace. I guess I maybe left it upstairs. No, there it is. I guess I have to figure out something else to do with all of these. It was pretty cool. Pretty cool idea. Let's go check on Stacy and Jeffrey. They seem to be okay. Stacy looks like she wants to get out. Maybe I should expand the pen a little bit. Look at that, they're getting excited. Don't get too excited, guys. Bah. Bah. All right, look at this. I'm giving you all this extra room to roam. Just be grateful. Never say I didn't did any. I never did anything for you. But I think we're gonna go ahead and, and call it here. This has been a very fun, if not strange, episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and I will see you next time when we hop on to play Thumbcraft. Which is going to be fun, I guess. I hope. I don't really know. Uh, see you guys then. Bye.